it's National Photography Month and the weather is nice. So let's dust off our cameras and take them out of winter hibernation. But before we head out, let's do a little refresher on a few ways to improve our photography. Just get out there and shoot. Practice really does make perfect. Take an hour a day and walk around and photograph your surroundings. Trial and error will be your best teacher. Get to know your settings. One of the things I wish I understood when I first started shooting photography was the exposure triangle. The best way to learn this is shoot different styles of photography. Grab a friend and shoot a wide aperture portrait and then go to a water feature and shoot it in a long exposure. This is the best way to see how your settings dictates your image. You'll probably hear this a lot, but I'll say it again, shoot in RAW. Shooting in RAW not only gives you the highest quality image, but it'll also get you editing more. And you'll quickly see how shooting in RAW gives you way more control in post-processing compared to a JPEG. Forget hot girl summer, can we have a good composition summer? I challenge you to experiment with composition this summer. Get low, get high, play with the rule of thirds and see how an off-center photo differs from a symmetrical photo. And this will help you find your preferred style. Slow down. Sometimes we just want to quickly get the photo or we see a flower in passing and just press the shutter button. I want you to slow down, take a beat, and figure out how to purposely fill your frame. Another way to slow down is using a tripod. You'll immediately notice how much sharper your images will be just by using a tripod. Don't have a tripod on you, don't worry. There are other creative ways to stabilize your camera. Look for light. Light is your best friend, even if there's only a tiny bit available. One of the most basic parts of photography is understanding light. Play with the sun, put your subject in front of the sun, and then put your subject behind the sun and see the difference it makes. Analyze your old photos. Photographers are constantly evolving, no matter their level. I'm giving you homework after you watch this video, and I want you to analyze your old photos, and then go and recreate it and make it even better. Use a zoom lens, try a prime instead. Sometimes we rely a little too much on fixing a composition by just zooming in. Challenge yourself by using a prime lens to force yourself to have to get further or closer to your subject to find that perfect shot. And lastly, just have fun. Honestly, my favorite part of photography is just how fun it is. I love that it gets me out there to meet new people, see new places, and just see the world in a more artistic way. Share your photos with us, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm Maria, and thanks for watching.